just make it me at the end because like there would be themes of like v dot us and v dot we it like got kind of weird at one point wow that's something walking around with curse armor and no curse armor curse and no ice armor whoa yep i uh i was looking at chat i heard the sound and i was like wait there's a thing here and then i looked at chat again I did not uh, mean to do that. I don't know if I was really feeling that run, not gonna lie. Why didn't Ice Armor protect you? It doesn't protect you from the lightning. So the lightning strikes continuously for whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, it's for some reason not a single instance of damage. So it nullifies your Ice Armor to get me killed. Your alert volume and mic volume are so close. It's supposed to be. Like, it's supposed to sound like you're supposed to be able to hear it. If you mean that it's overbearing my voice, Chat. that's perfectly what, what okay. Happened? What Yo, happened? Yo, snub with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. Why did I die? Excellent question, my friend. I actually don't know why I died. The game just said that my time was up. And who am I to uh, disagree? I was also looking at chat, so... Get it. Yeah, hidden messages, that's right. What a good day. See, death's like that out mine. Should I have died? Who knows? But I 100% don't mind the death. Yeah, Coach got first place. Speed ran himself right into first place. Yeah, thank you, Coach. Really appreciate that. We owe you a uh, another trip to. The wing stop. Hook yourself up with that uh, peanut butter and jelly chicken wing. We actually haven't ordered any of the dessert wings yet. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm like on such an autopilot right now. This is good though. Like you want to get to the point in Dead Cells where you are on autopilot. And like stuff happens on the screen sure. You know, there's Arbiters, there's Bombers, whatever. It's all the same. I'm gonna walk up to it and I'm gonna kick it. That's where you wanna be. Regardless of the monster. We actually had some people who were asking for a, uh, I kinda wanna play Phaser. An elite guy. So like, what do you do against slasher elites? What do you do against hammer elites? That kind of stuff. Cool idea. I just don't think there's enough variance to really uh, do that. Uh, you start one BC, you got murdered in a slumbering sanctuary by the enemy with super punch. Do I have any tips on dealing with those? So personally, I don't go slumbering sanctuary unless I know I can kill that monster specifically. In 4 BC, it's even worse because there's demons on that map. So you have to be able to kill both demons and golems. 
with no issue. Uh, that could be having a shield. That could be having powerful grenade. Um, it could be having a stun grenade. Ice grenade, like some kind of crowd control, wolf trap. But really what it boils down to is that you need, before you even open that map up, you need to know you can kill that. Freaking war spear. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, beat Ascension 16 with Ironclad. Spot weakness. That's the one that gives you strength if the monster is attacking. Is that right, Asunder? You like War Spear, except it can't hit bats. You had three of them, have you played? Did five damage? You mean 50 damage? Wow, stream elements. Yeah, 150. I was about to say, like, it had to have done more. That's cool, though. Congratulations, Asunder. Farther than me. And, uh, Ironclad. Any advice on dodging the laser on elite enemies? So there's a couple of different kinds of lasers. Uh, Gisel I still want to say Gisellerin. Uh, But there's like the vertical laser, the one that goes up. There's the clock laser, the one that spins. And then there's the like the strike laser, the one that just does a single horizontal strike. Horizontal strike and clock laser can both be parried. So if you have a shield, you can parry those lasers. Oh my god. My timing is like really off today. Um, the only one that you can't parry is vertical laser. In that case, you can still dodge roll it if you double jump and then roll downward into the laser. Typically, whenever I have a uh, vertical laser, that's all I'm doing is I'm double jumping, double jumping and then rolling to dodge it. Still Xbox One exclusive. Yeah, so I'm not going to be playing Fantasy Star. Uh, hey, Ood. Get a little baby heal right there. Uh, I don't quite know what I'm doing with this build yet. It's a little tough. I don't quite have anything, like, good in the whole set. There's some stuff in here that does stuff, but typically, none of this does anything by itself. Why try it? I actually never played the other Fantasy Stars. Even though, like, I had the Dreamcast, I had the, uh, the network adapter and all that. At least I think that was Dreamcast that had online Fantasy Star. But I didn't play any of the others. I'm gonna do this. It's a lot of money. Honestly, I don't really recommend paying for anything here. I just know that the Swift Sword is going to be, like, a whole of a lot better. And we have Berserk, so we'll be able to speed through this map. Uh, do I play with everything unlocked? Yes. We're not on custom mode, and every single item is unlocked. Uh, 
Uh, we've kind of always played that way. I think that's just like from a viewer experience. That's what chat seems to like the most. And I like it too. And that's not to say that other people's chats um, want them to play the way we play either. I just mean like for a v.me stream, I think you all are used to seeing everything available. Alright, let's actually get a v.60 this time. We've missed way too many today. Of course. Mushroom Daddy. Still a beast. Always ruining your no hits. That looks weird. The return of the flawless. The flawless with extendo slow on it. But I'm not gonna take that. Uh, what time is it right now? It is 8.40. Where we are. Oh, look at that worm. Oh, there's three worms. Adds the extra RNG for better or worse. See, I feel like it's always better. That's just me, though. Like, that is not to say that you all aren't allowed uh, to do custom or leave stuff locked. That is just how we stream this game. Alright, I'm going to try to uh, do a little better skill-wise. Speed this up a little bit. <laughs> uh, I thought he was going to throw the boy. Well, I said I was going to do better. Apparently doing better is a little harder than it sounds. Uh, PM. Popo. PM. Yeah, Berserk is the only thing, like, keeping me afloat. Which is why I took the Swift Sword, because it just works very well with my playstyle. My playstyle of just running around, getting hit by every single thing I see. Way too many enemies on this map? No, that's a good thing. That means all those opportunities for us to lose a V.60, we can get it back. Same with Moras. Or their Spikes. Who put the spikes there? Am I gonna get hit by those? Okay. <laughs> I got scared. Alright. Apparently V.60s are banned. Can't be done. No longer possible. <laughs> yeah, about that 60 is right. Uh, I guess I'm using Swift Sword for a little while longer. Oh yeah. 
There's like zero monsters left. Uh, let's go back and grab the true blood. Parry timing was insane. What did I parry? <laughs> did I parry the mushroom daddy? Let's try to mob a little bit. There we go. That was a good true blood. Wow, that honestly didn't look like it healed for very much at all. Despite me clearing like 15 monsters. Just have fun. That's definitely helpful. A lot of times, like, I'm doing stuff that I probably shouldn't be. I'm doing it because I think it might look cool. Like, I gotta try this ice armor in the lightning <laughs> while cursed. No, I didn't try to do that. That was definitely not on purpose. Would've been nice if it worked, though. <laughs> All F4, I like that. Hey, can I use that later, Popo? Can I steal that meme? Steal the joke? Okay, so here's that vertical laser we were talking about. As I said, you can dodge this by just double jumping and then rolling. You cannot double jump. I mean, you cannot just roll it straight up. I'll show... Oh, I can't because I screwed it up. I'm just going to kill this. But yeah, it's actually pretty easy to dodge, so long as you don't have a lot of stuff going on around you. That's where the real issue lies, is when you can't really uh, fight the elite where it stands. But in that case, you should be trying to back up. As much as possible, anyway. Oh, thank you for that hydration. I'm gonna do that as... Well, I can do that while walking. See, all I needed was 10 enemies. Even though we lost the V.60 multiple times, I still only need 10 enemies. Hope you all are fans of Berserk and Brutality. This is probably how the build is going to look for a long time. I have a strong feeling we ain't getting much better than this. Alright, what you got? Give me the oil sword. That is not an oil sword. Okay. Let's not look at chat while I'm cursed. There we go. I know there's an invisible enemy. I just needed it to uh, go where I needed it. A bat. And another bat. Hooray! Now we can go back to running around like an idiot. Little double parry action. See, I love Swift Sword. 
Like, this thing is so much better. Imagine me running around with that wrenching whip I had. Like, imagine trying to play this game with that wrenching whip. Shout out to anyone who uses wrenching whip. Please continue to use it. Uh, but for me personally, I got a spot. Wow, the instant heat. Yeah, but see how I just double jump? Okay, that one may have actually hit me. <laughs> but assume that the double jump with the dodge roll after is the way you deal with that. The build's nice. I don't know how I feel about the fire grenade. Um, then again, I don't really know what I want. I feel like I'd rather have a knife dance. I kind of want to play Phaser too. And I kind of want to play Last Ring Aura. And I kind of want to play Grapple Hook. I just don't want to pay for any of that. Why did I get hit by? Did a bat hit me? I have no idea. Yeah, if this stuff wants to fight, I'll fight. It can just meet me down here. Oh, the box. <laughs> it's a pretty good box, if I do say so myself. Another gift sub? How do you even have... Coach, you got, uh, funds to, uh, to eat? There's struggles out there, for sure. I passed by the grocery store today, and that place was packed. We're not playing any of this. Even though I probably need to play uh, Rapier. But it's like, why play that if I'm going to use Swift Sword? Swift Sword is exactly what the Rapier is, but better. I feel. Marksman Bow? I don't think I've used the Marksman Bow in like a year. I don't know if you want to see me play that. I So what I don't know, is this some kind of like hidden message to get Who me killed? Who answered the question? Fun size. The question was in FF6, which main character tries to... Oh, the FF6 spoilers? Yo, congratulations, fun size, and thanks again, Kosh. Much appreciated. Fireworks are gone. Go fishing. Oh, because of lack of food, go fish. So, this should be fun. Corrupted power on this map is actually like really good. 
You can just kind of go around and zap everything. Quiz stuff is fun. It sounds fun. I just want to make sure that, you know, anyone doing that kind of uh, stuff isn't gonna, you know, struggle later. But as long as, you know, you all are doing okay financially, then definitely uh, thank you for doing that. See, the Teemos, I don't even have to slash. Half the time, I can just activate Corrupted Power and they die. Boy with the Marksman? Is that the new strat? I'm definitely going to need strats because I certainly don't know how to play that thing. Not in 2020. Found the curse. There was an elite, right? Yeah, let's take out that elite first before we do the curse. Just in case. Crap. Let's do one of these. You had a very good boomerang and boy run. So you were just throwing a single boomerang, Crispy? I was talking about that on uh, YouTube in the comments. Because we just posted that double boomerang run. And I'm just not sure if a single boomerang feels very good. I feel like it wouldn't. But if you're saying that you played it today and it felt really uh, powerful with the boy, then that's awesome. Blow gunners were a struggle with nerves of steel. That's probably what the boy act, I mean the mushroom boy is for. Anything that you can't kill with your weapon, mushroom boy will do it. Nice elite placement. Nice Teemo action. Twins. One act is coming back. There we go. Yeah, as soon as I saw that one act store was a little lower than the other, you have to be prepared to uh, parry. There we go. All right, <laughs> back to the action. We had a little commercial break just then while we were cursed. It's Secret of Evermore? Is that a real game? I don't even know where Kosh is pulling these games out from. Always parry when you roll behind the tick. It's gonna try to do some bull crap. Don't fall for it. Wait, I got hit. Wow, the thing actually like gave me an alley-oop. Hold up, that was actually kind of sick. Three percent is a lot. Taking solder? I have no idea what that is. Oh, you mean, um, yeah, 19 percent health right now off soldier resistance. 
and really like I don't need combo open wounds would probably be nice if I had you know a sated stiletto but I don't really care for open wounds here either I'm just gonna rip through everything I see with corrupted power and swift sword open wounds is good for the boss But I really care about the uh, biomes the most. I need to be able to get through a biome uh, healthy. Big map, by the way. Uh, hey, Jogo. You're at home for two weeks. Well, hopefully you have uh, good things to do. If you're playing Dead Cells, awesome. If you're playing uh, um, Animal Crossing, awesome. If you're playing Resident Evil 3, awesome. I think the demo comes out this week. Um, if you're playing... What else is there to play? Maybe you're playing Curse of the Dead Gods. Awesome stuff. No, no, no. See, you We're can always get a V.60 on this map. It's so good. Uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, tan April. Could be Tan April. Either way. Glad to have you. Yeah, but see how powerful Corrupted Power is, like, on its own? Half the stuff, I don't even have to attack. Like, the Corrupted Power is borderline killed it. Is Animal Crossing out on Friday? Like, I kind of want this, but I think I'm just going to sell it. Wow, this map is still going. Oh, wait, I have to get rid of this fire grenade. This thing doesn't work on Mama Tick. Okay. There's another curse. No, I never got the first curse. Huh? I think I made a mistake. I did get it, but where was it? That's the curse? That's the second curse. Oh, no. Okay, we can do this. We will take it. We're chilling. I actually need that for Mama Tick. All right. So, I know for a fact there's some leeches that I did not touch. Yeah, I'm doing it alright. Oh, this map is so huge. Imagine walking through this entire map to find some leeches. I don't think the uh, skulls show for leeches either. Got Curse and Promenade last run. That sounds fun. I haven't been in Promenade in so long. 
promenade. Alright, a single Teemo. Uh, we may as well, like, check this whole section. I do have a door here, too. I never went in. Let's check it out. No monsters. Okay. There's my three. I need two monsters, game. Spare two monsters, please. Um, I don't know, everybody. I swear I left two leeches somewhere. Like I was going through the map and I was saying, you know what, I'm not gonna go back for this stuff. I'm just gonna leave it. Surely. I left something. This ain't looking good. Two perfects in a row? Please, game. Okay, I left a secret. Surely that means I left some monsters. Oh, there's a leech. Oh my god, it's two leeches. <laughs> Winnable, by the way. All right. Yo, let's go. I can't go down. All right, here we go. Game winning build right here. Gonna lurk. All right. Thank you. Have a good rest. If you uh, are eating dinner, have good dinner as well. Two single leeches. Yeah, I didn't want the boots. I'd rather have Swift Sword, to be honest. Broadsword, A. Eh? Hmm. 20% bonus damage. <laughs> Do some Xeno Gears trivia next time. Yeah, I would fail that too. Can I get the extended slow? Yeah, victims slow all nearby enemies. So we got that. I could ditch killer instinct. Yeah, let's go heart of ice. Like, yeah, I could go instincto, but if you look at it, this thing only does uh, 0.76. So if I could just get like one single heart of ice off, it's better. Which I can. All right, stream Xeno Saga. I don't know if I could stream a story game at this point. Like not that I'm the most ADD gamer there is out there, but in terms of like streaming a story game, I don't know if I can. Like Celeste was good because Celeste had some cutscenes where we talked through it. And then there's a ton of gameplay after that. And I'm sure other games are like that too, but when it comes to like FF7 Remake, there's no way I could play that on stream. Massively into JRPGs. Can't imagine playing one nowadays. I'm sure it's good. See the stun? I didn't use Corrupted Power once. Oh, we're dealing some chunks.
Oh. oh, let's go. Another no hit. Now I can go die the curse again. Can't wait to die while cursed. That's going to be the best part. Grapple hook over corrupted power. I think so. We'll see though. Like maybe I'll get something cool. Yo, concierge who? <laughs> Giant who? Is this now the new boss to farm no hits? Oh, give me that. And then, um, so that means I can look for, whatchamacallit, the sword, the spite sword. All we want is the 7% damage reduction. I mean, no, there we go. All right, 7% damage reduction when held up. So that means if I do find the the spiteful sword, we should be in really good shape. If you like games like Celeste, I should try Ori. Everyone wants me to play Ori in the Blind Forest. That's the first one. Everyone wants me to play Ori and the Will of Wisps, but I never played Ori 1. I know people said it's on Xbox Game Pass, but I don't know. I'm an Xbox hater, I won't deny it. I gotta find something to use Heart of Ice with. Like, it's giving me damage reduction on the, um... Crusher. But we could do better than that, I think. For shields, does absorb do anything? Yeah. So, different shields have different uh, damage reduction when it's held up. Holding up a shield isn't something that I recommend like in every single run, but in this run specifically, with this specific shield, I would happily hold it up on a boss on something like the giant on something like timekeeper you take minimal damage it's like this stuff right here like yeah you lose your no hit but that's about the damage that anything's gonna be doing to me Except bosses. It's like, yeah, I'll take a little bit of damage from a boss, but you'll heal it back up. Uh, so we actually have a run out there on YouTube. Which is a full block run. You can't full block the entire game, unfortunately. Stuff like golems still hit really hard through a shield. Did I get hit? I can't even tell half the time I get hit by an enemy. Stream what you want to stream. Don't get bullied. So, while I agree with that real out, I actually had a conversation about this the other day with someone on, well, not a full conversation, but there was a Twitter conversation uh, that was talking about, you know, streaming stuff for fun. And it's okay to do that. 
But like there are moments where we can't and you're almost better off. Wow, I actually got I got probably my favorite shield. Look at all the poison. Wait, look at me like about to die because I'm messing around with this. Go we'll fight here. There we go. The shield itself is actually a poison on hit shield. Go double shield. Double shield while bread. How would that work? If you all can think of how I would build that. That could be something. Oh, kill counter? Yeah, options, gameplay, display the number of enemies killed without being hit. This is another uh, good thing to add. Level up your life right there, little life hack. I swear I need a knife dance. I feel like that's the only thing that's like actually good here. Maybe I could go back to fire grenade. Something over the crusher. Right now I'm on the lookout for that curse. And like I said, I could possibly go double shield, but I can't think of like a good build for it. Like, even if I took some survival mutations, I don't think they would do enough. Gonna go now watching Batwoman, and then gonna play some Warframe. Nice. Yeah, have a good night, Thorn. Oh. Interrupt. Dicky. How? <laughs> Wait, is this rocket science right now? Uh. Oh. Okay. It was off rocket science. Yeah. I'm faster. Can't beat me. Yeah, so the extended slow allows me to avoid a lot of hits that I may have necessarily not avoided. Alright, here's my curse. Go ahead and take it. Double legendary boys? Oh, we actually got this? Interesting. So, if I actually went Hokuto, parry. I still feel like I need a new R2 button. Like, I don't quite know if both of those together with Crusher. Is enough. Alright. 
but it actually sounds kind of fun. Yeah, chat's always asking for me to build stuff, and typically I don't mind. As long as it's actually fun. Yeah, I was about to say, where's that other door? If I can avoid a Mario Maker jump, I will. Wait, I thought you all said that the 4BC door always has monsters. Um... Alright. Looks like we have to, uh, commit. OPJumpPuzzles.com Freaking, I want to be the Bashi right there. Holy crap, Shield City. Oh, there is a monster. Wait, what? What is it? How on earth did I not fight that thing? Like, it was just chilling on that platform the whole time? So. We are gonna end up doing like a full 180 on this build. Now what I don't know is if the Thunder Shield counts as ranged or not. If the Thunder Shield counts as ranged, I should be playing Hunter's Instinct. But now I really need a knife dance. I think I have to actually buy something here. Lacerator? I think so. Okay. This is turning into a build and a half, everybody. Do I know how much time has passed before I got to 5 BC? So I beat 4 BC before 5 BC came out. Um, so we were just playing straight 4 BC, like for the longest time. And then eventually, so it had to have been like a full patch at least. I think that's the hit. I'm not gonna play say the stiletto. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got into 4 BC before Rise of the Giant, even. Yeah, that would be 5 BC. That's right. Alright, so let's reset. Final build, hopefully. Like, hopefully we don't have to reset again. Hunter's Instinct. Soldier. Because we still want to be tanky here. I kind of don't want to go disengage, to be honest. I guess I'll do it. It's kind of lame. But it is what it is. Uh, let's go for... Bonus what? The three ammo is helpful. Okay, I still got it. Biters from the dead and Pierce. I'm just going to keep it as is. Like, it could be anything else, but I'm not going to stress about it. Is Soldier more solid choice than Dead Inside? I'm not playing Dead Inside until I get to the final boss. I want to be able to heal off food because I don't plan to use the health pot if I can help it. Um, if you're playing on like 1BC for example where you get those flask refills, then sure you could play Dead Inside. But because I don't get my health flask back, I can't do Dead Inside unless I have lifesteal built in in the kit. Can I make this jump? I could have gotten hit just then. But yeah, having lifesteal, <laughs> necromancy, like any of that stuff, is a huge difference. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> Everything just vanished. That was, uh, that's pretty decent. I don't quite remember who said to go this build, but that was, uh, that was not half bad. All right, the curse is here. Hello? Let me out. It's gonna activate Lacerator with Hokuto. Should be enough. Wow, so many shields today. I'm just gonna take that now. It was crispy, yo. Who out there has one more gift sub for crispy? Yeah, and this is why I call better than tactics right here. Like, there's no reason to play this as tactics. I can have 20,000 health. And probably be better than tactics. Oh, I never sold that other shield either. Crap. Hey, if you all can record the seed, you can play double shield all on your own without me having to do it. It did sound fun, I just don't know where, like, the mutations would go. You learn the hard way. If you spec out of dead inside with 10 malaise, you get that illness. Yeah, you have to put dead inside back on. So that, we do that sometimes, fun size, where you have like, say you're at 12 or 13, 14 malaise, you reset, your malaise bar goes to 10, but you don't lose the health so long as you don't leave. You reset, you're at 10, full malaise, you buy dead inside again, and it gives you like whatever the difference was, like you net positive on Malay's bar. Alright, that's an elite. Oh, I didn't see it casting. I didn't even realize. Crap. Rip. Uh, I'll take this so we can get some of our cash back. Oh wow, I was pressing the wrong button. Uh, does Hokuto deal double damage with poison? I think so. Because it deals damage over time. I think that damage, like each individual tick of damage, is enhanced. Wow. Can I not platform today? All right, so now we're in a situation where I can actually um, get Malays again. Uh, we were playing Berserk, and now that's gone. So I do have to be a little careful of all the hits. Don't really understand here. You can reduce your Malays. Yeah, only if you're over 10 social. You'll go like down to 10 and then actually get it back up. I mean, you'll still be at 10 overall, but it's a net positive gain.
because you were like higher than 10 previously. Gonna get this. I wanted to parry one of those bats. Parry that. Except I keep using the triangle button. Thing is my Hokuto button. Like that's always the Hokuto button. It's triangle. The build of a lifetime, a build that chat asked for. Imagine using the build that chat says to use, but we did it. And it's actually kind of fun. Parry this. Not even kind of, like it's actually fun. I should look to parry the easy stuff. I don't really like parrying the uh, Dark Stalkers, but failed experiment. Even Shield Bearers, I should probably parry those. This might be an Elite? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, so see the lightning? And see all the ticks? I'm going to take this. Each individual bolt of lightning applies poison. And you can just do this. Like, this is the primary attack of the Thunder Shield. And that parry. I mean, that poisons too. What? Am I lost? Oh. I was about to say, how on earth do I get out of here? Yeah, this is giant all day. We don't want to expunge the lightning. We want to just sit on top of the boss. Sparked. Wow. It's actually a lot of monsters ahead of me. See, but I don't really care to parry. Okay, that we can parry. Except I'm gonna lose this anyway. Let's get the light back. Oh, that is light. Yeah, so as you see... You just look for the easy stuff to parry. And then you just walk around and monsters explode. Wow. Okay, this is dangerous. Backtracking in Sepulchre can sometimes be bad. Luckily, that wasn't very far. Uh, have to make some lattes? Is it not too late for a latte? That's coffee, right? I mean, you could be on the West Coast, I guess. But it's... If you're on the west coast, that would make it 6.45 p.m. You could be in Hawaii. Hawaii is what? Minus 8? So 1 p.m.? Boho drinks? Wow. Awesome. We're actually going to take this. Just to make it stronger. Uh, hey, t bro. It's never too late for a latte. I don't know if I've actually had a latte before. Oh, there's the bonus damage to poison. $60,000 Hokutobo, by the way. This is, uh, it's getting good. In Persona 2, what is the nickname for an Eikichi? No, that Eikichi gives Lisa. Ginkgo? Wow, look at that. The experts in the chat. I never played a single Persona. Well, I guess I played a little bit of Persona 4. 
uh, but not enough to actually be a persona. I, so fan. what I don't know is this some kind of like Yo, hidden fireworks message to get during you the cutscene? All right, so. Not bad, not bad. I think the damage could be a little better. Break that. Yeah, I guess there's no reason for me to not like stack these. I am not used to being on this side. I actually missed that parry. Please break. It didn't break. Ah, oh, my no hit. That's so lame. All right, that's a drink. I just realized my Hokuto is like not in either of those. I think I possibly messed that up. Overall, it's, that was okay. I think it could have been like a little cooler. But had I used the Hokuto a little bit more, it probably would have been fun. Watching from Italy at 3 a.m. Yo, thank you, Joel. When was the last time I've been up at 3 a.m.? I have no idea. Oh, uh, let me in. Better than any of your giants? No, you're fine, I'm sure. Joel needs a latte. I don't think I've ever had one. Um, if I were to go to... Starbucks... To order a latte, is there like a specific one that you all would recommend I go for? Yeah, all I drink is plain black coffee. This is actually plain black right here. I'm not gonna try to parry this first hit. I want an Americana. Got it. Oh, I actually expunged it. That's unfortunate. Yeah, you can also just, um... Oh, the magnetic grenade! Yeah, see, the damage is... It's okay. Nothing to write home about. Crap. Huh? I'm gonna end up drinking. There we go. Uh, I, I still like it. It's still a fun build. Sometimes I get a little like into my own head and I forget to press buttons. But overall, I think it's still fun. GG <laughs> easy. You always press too many buttons.
that could also lead to death. I just know I could have done like a little bit more in between some of his actions. Like I have enough Hokuso shots, I should just be spamming them. Uh, but I didn't. Shantae. Yeah, this is actually good when my stuff is on cooldown. Hmm. I don't really know what I want to play. Yeah, so... As long as we get those easier activations of the Thunder Shield, the better. Return of Shantae's story. I've, again, never played a single Shantae game. Maybe someday. Something just died down here. Wait, why did I aggro, like, everything? I could never parry those. Like, for some reason, that was always a really difficult monster to parry. Do I play Gungeon? I actually don't, Narwhal. I feel like I'm really bad at Enter the Gungeon. And because of that, and we had this conversation before on stream where chat was saying, B, it's okay to like be new at a game. Like, obviously, you're not gonna be, like, 5 BC Gungeon on the very first, uh, day you stream it. But, personally, I struggle actually, uh, playing that game because I don't play very well. Uh, now, chat has taught me how to play Binding of Isaac. And I feel like I'm getting better at Isaac, uh, to be honest. Obviously, I'm no Cobalt Streak, but I'm still doing uh, some stuff in that game. Newbie stuff, but stuff nonetheless. And like, if I could get to that point in Gungeon, then sure, I wouldn't mind playing it. But just right now, I'm not there. I, um, hmm. How am I going to fight this? I love to have poison, but I don't know if that's going to happen. There we go. Interesting. Technically, that is very similar to the Thunder Shield. Um, probably the right choice? Probably. Are you wants to put time into Gungeon, but you haven't been able to do it. I tried. Really, I did. I just struggled. And when I struggle in a game, I don't want you all to see it. Uh, there is food in the shop. So I can always go back and get that chicken dinner. I may as well go back right now. I am below 50%, so it's no big deal. A number between 1 and 10? 3. It's fun to see me struggle. I feel like there's no way. I don't want to see me struggle in a game. 
I mean, I appreciate the, uh, the thought. Uh, does this kill stuff? No, right? The crit does. Uh, only the horizontal. All right, never mind. Now you can do the official F. That's what I'm talking about. I think that's everything. So now we can begin our ascent. See, magnetic is kind of okay. It's just for 16 seconds. That's a long time. Hey, we did it. Twins? Wow, I actually got hit. I've gotten hit a lot on this map. We were in pretty good shape all day. I mean, relatively speaking, of course. It's like, am I not pressing enough buttons? I thought our alchemic carbine plus the Hokuto was supposed to be giga busted. Must be user error. Maybe I need the shield after all? No, I'll play this out. I just need to tighten up the gameplay a little bit. It's a lot of crap up there. Wow. I got none of my health back off that rally. Now, typically, just use your head uh, as you go up that. Just jump up. Use the head. Don't try to contest 19 monsters on top of each other. Usually not the right move. I need $20,000 to buy the, ha the health pot. There it is. I was wondering when the food would show up. I think I still had to use the health pot regardless. It would have had to have been a chicken dinner for me to not use it. Wow, I actually lost the grenade to the lightning. Yeah, gotta do it sometimes. Gotta go into that rift. Alright, so I don't have enough money to buy the health flask. Oh, I do. But I won't have enough to reset, so I'll be in there with Hunter's Instinct. 
that I can't do anything with. And maybe that's okay. I probably could have kept the shield and actually bought a sword. Okay. We need that confidence now. This is the best chat you've ever seen. Thank you, chat. Chat made this a good experience for Joel. Thank you, everybody. All right, we are done here. Unfortunately, this build is gonna be um, probably not the best versus this boss, mainly because the magnetic grenade isn't gonna do anything. Um. So I should probably reroll the carbine. I have 34,000 health and the carbine is the only thing that's not doing anything. Bonus damage. Bonus damage to bleeding targets. I don't know if carbine can get anything. Bonus speed. Wow. We're actually back to square one. Incredible. Alright. As I said, I couldn't reset even in the first place. So we're going to be going in with Hunter's Instinct. Uh, 12 a.m. tomorrow. Not allowed to go out except... Yeah, I did see that there was uh, emergency measures in place right now. So definitely stay out uh, safe out there, uh, social. Final boss, we like curved really hard with this build. Like we straight swerved out of so many different setups. And we ended up with something that, eh, it's okay. Just try to load up the poison. Wow, it does absorb the grenades. I had no idea. I think that's my first time ever using Hokutoko there. So I may as well save the magnetic. Oh wow, another flask? Like, I'm kind of surprised to see that. I could have dropped the magnetic here. Watching for the exclamation point. Oh no, the magnetic! Oh, I got it! That was perfect. Oh, I dashed the wrong way. Feels bad. that was actually like a really bad dodge from me. Man, I mean, if I'd got the no hit, that would have been amazing. Didn't get it just then. I'm not going to worry about it. If I had the flamethrower though, like imagine having a flamethrower instead of that magnetic grenade. Or like, um, maybe not cluster grenade, but a fire grenade over the magnetic. Like, yeah, pulling in all the stuff is, like, kind of cool. But, yo, if that was a fire grenade, that would have been actually sick. Oh, thank you for that hydration, Bibbly. Without me, you're nothing. 
imposter check? I actually... Who was I talking to this to? Maybe it was just Twitter. I don't lean back when I play any video games at all. Like, every time I play a game... I don't know if you all can actually see... Yeah, I normally play like this. If not, I'm like actually leaning. Like, with my arms on my kneecaps. I don't lean back when I play, like... Shoot, I could be playing... I, I'm trying to think of easy games. Pokemon, I guess? Uh, we will be next game get, by the way. We got that clean win. Maybe not the cleanest win, but a win's a win. Final boss, dude or gal, whatever. Didn't stand a chance. If I had the freaking flamethrower, that would have been GG.